It's been an up and down season for the Hawthorne Cougars as they currently have a two and one record in league play. Now tonight they take on division rivals, the Culver City Centaurs, and with only two games remaining on the schedule, this will prove to be a late season battle for the playoffs. It was senior night in the South Bay as Hawthorne honored several of their players on their final regular season home game. And despite all of the pregame emotions, this game would get out of hand early. Kevin McGuire with the one-handed grab, and he'll find pay dirt. 60 yards to the house, Culver up 7-0. Next Culver possession, same result. Quarterback Zevi Eckhouse with the toss to Tyler Luckett for the score. Culver up 13-0 midway through the first. The Centaurs would reel off three more touchdowns in the first quarter, including this one here once again to McGuire, blowing the game wide open and putting them up by a score of 33-0 after one. Second quarter, and it just wasn't Hawthorne's night, as a bad snap goes out of the end zone for a safety, putting Culver up 35 to nothing. Final minutes of the half and more mistakes for the home team. Williams with a short lob to Sanchez who fumbles the ball. It'll be scooped up by Joe Simpson who returns it all the way for the touchdown. Culver City up 49 to nothing at the half. After another Centaur touchdown, the Cougars desperately needed to make something happen and they would turn to their senior playmaker, Joseph Taylor. Taylor breaks free, going 70 yards down the field before he's finally taken down at the 17 yard line. First down, Cougars. Then three plays later, the young man would finish what he started. Taylor punching it in on his final regular season home game. He's had such an amazing career for the Cougars and now he gets one more score for the home crowd. There's little room to celebrate though as Hawthorne was down 56 to six after three. Hawthorne would tack on a little more as Kyle Williams finds Jai Ballard for the score. Ballard, another senior playing in his final home game. Hawthorne down 56 to 14. But that's all they would manage as Culver City would take the ensuing kickoff all the way to the house. No one will catch Imari Pate as the Culver City Centaurs take the W by a final score of 62 to 14. Tough game coach seems to have gotten away from you early. Take me through what happened. I mean, we just, they just play better. I mean, they, they're just a better team today. I mean, we just made too many mistakes, turnovers. I mean, they just, they, they're, and they're a great team. And, you know, we knew coming in that, you know, what we had to do, um, they just, they're, they're a good team. I mean, no excuses. I, I just, not, 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 we can do anything offensively. We lost a couple of offensive linemen before the game and they were not to play. So we tried to mix and match. But even with that, they're just a better team than us. Now, a loss of this magnitude can be tough on the psyche with a team with only one game remaining. What do you tell them? Oh, no, we'll go back to the drawing board. You know, we'll draw some things up. We'll get it going. Um, you know, we'll get back to the drawing board. You know, get our offense going back, get the defense back right. It, it, you know, it's one of those games, like I told them at halftime. It got away from us. We didn't play well. Hey, you know what? Just fight through adversity. So we'll fight back. And with only one game remaining, the Cougars hope to end on a high note and secure a spot in the upcoming playoffs. Reporting from Hawthorne High, this is Sam Vargas, Sports Corner.